Hello. You are me. What is this place? Hey. I, uh, kinda need to use this scene for my time travel theory video? Hey, uh, I was hoping I could use this scene for my, uh, Yellow Church video. Hey, uh, I gotta use this scene for my, uh, Great Prophecy video. When I think about Red vs. Blue, Season 6, 7, and 8, the Recollection Trilogy, the first thing I usually think about is my first apartment. When I first moved in there, all I ever watched was Red vs. Blue and Saw, which is part of the reason why I used Saw as a comparison in my Yellow Church video. At that time, the only seasons I owned were the Blood Gulch Chronicles and Season 9, and I was waiting for Season 10 to release episodes, so it was a while ago. And... I had finally decided I was going to buy season 6, 7, and 8. I wish back then I had noticed the theories that I have now. I think it would have definitely enhanced my viewing of those seasons. Wait a minute. I've got a time machine. Red vs. Blue Season 6, Reconstruction, is the first trial of the actual prophecy, the trial of the windmill. Now while that was said to have happened in Season 4 and 5, it doesn't go the way they planned, but however it did set up the building blocks for the actual prophecy. In Season 5 we saw an alien called the Great Retriever who believed himself to be the one who was supposed to reunite the hero with the weapon so he could fulfill the prophecy. Recovery 1, I said in my last video, was the story of the real Great Retriever starting his journey, Agent Washington. In Season 6, Agent Tex's ship crashes in Valhalla, a year after it exploded. When this happens, Omega starts wreaking havoc on both teams, and eventually the meta shows up, steals Omega, Gamma, Tex, the Time Distortion Unit, and the Invis Unit, kills everybody there except for one guy. After hearing the story of what the Met has done, the counselor decides he's going to send Agent Washington to hunt down and stop the Meta, who in Season 6 becomes the next Darkness. If our suspicions are correct, the Meta has made another addition. The Omega AI. It was Omega and Tex, right? Because the meta has Omega, he's told by the counselor to find the soldiers that have the most experience with the Omega AI, which would be the Reds and Blues. Agent Washington goes to Blood Gulch, where the Reds and Blues were, finds out they've all been relocated except for Sarge, who ignored his relocation orders, and Sister, who we never get an explanation as to why she's still there, except for the fact that Sarge needed a reason to ignore his relocation orders. You want Caboose then? He got infected for a little while, I think. Great. Caboose, do you know where he is? Of course. Okay, so, the part I mentioned before about the alien dying, so therefore the Great Destroyer title reverting back to Caboose, that starts now. Agent Washington shows up to Rat's Nest, and he finds out that the blue team there has locked Caboose in the brig. Agent Washington inquires as to what's going on. He said he was good with vehicles. All he does is talk to them. Talk to them! What the hell is that all about? And he's basically destroyed all of their vehicles that they have, including their tank. When they find out that Agent Washington needs Caboose for this particular mission, they are really happy, and they decide they're going to go free him from the brig to give him to Agent Washington and pass the trouble to him. In the process, Joannis gets killed. I'm not taking any more chances. Oh! Why? Shut up, Joannis! Caboose comes out and Agent Washington realizes how stupid Caboose is. Is it my brother? 
Was my brother killed? That's it, isn't it? My brother's dead! No, nothing like that. Oh, good. Because I don't even have a brother! When he finally gets Caboose to come with him... Are we there yet? Are we there yet? Just try to stay quiet. Caboose tells him the next person they need to pick up is Church. Now, Church's location wasn't supposed to be known by anybody. Especially Caboose, because Church didn't want him finding him. And you're sure this is where we can find this guy? I think so. We all found out our new orders at the same time. He tried to hide his from me so I would not know where he was. And he knows about Freelancer as well. Oh yeah, he knows the most. He knows uh, all about your AI game. When Agent Washington and Caboose get to High Ground, which is the base he's stationed at... Sayonara, biatch! Oh, come on! What the fuck? Church? Church? It's me! Your all-time best friend! Caboose? Yes! Church, it's me! I had this you so much! It takes me so long! Seriously, get the fuck out of here! Oh no, then I guess we'll have to just walk through the huge hole in your secure wall. Fine, I'll open the fucking gate! Okay, well, sorry the place is so messy. I would have cleaned up if I'd known you guys were coming. But hey, no one called ahead. How long have you been here? I've been here 14 months. What? Over a year? By yourself? This being because he is the Alpha. And after everything that happened in Season 5 with the prophecy, he's been relocated so that nobody can find him. This is being done because, I believe, the whole idea of getting Church with the time loop in Season 3 didn't work because clearly he found a way to escape. Agent Washington basically tells Church that he needs to come with Caboose and him so that they can try to hunt down the meta. Now that the ship from your canyon has crashed, we think it's more powerful than ever. It gains new abilities every time it kills Wait, 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 whoa. You found Texas' ship? We believe so. Where? Come with me, and I'll show you. Okay, I'm in. Which, by the way, people ignore this because it took a year to crash, and no one realizes that it just now, as long as Church has been there, has been found. You know, time travel just, you know, didn't exist until season 15 in this series, you know. But once they finally get to the crash site, this is where... The three of them get denied entry, so they have to basically find the bluest way possible to get to the crash site. Hey, maybe there's like a cool nightclub nearby that you can't get us into either. That would be awesome. What do you think he'll do for a distraction? Make a noise, throw a rock. That's what I would do. Or he could do that. Okay, let's go. Um, yes, I don't want to. Uh, you see, I am scared of the thing that I don't know what it is. Oh, don't be a baby. How bad could it be? Ow! That was fucking bullshit! Afterwards, Church, Caboose, and Agent Washington listen to the crash logs. The crash logs reveal that it crashed very quickly after the bomb exploded, revealing more of the fact that it took a year to crash while it seemed like it was an instant for Tex. More time distortion stuff that people say didn't exist. While they're doing this, Agent Washington gets a ping on his recovery beacon. Agent South. Roger that. Yeah, she's in trouble, Wash. Yes. Yes, she is. This is the part where we finally get Delta brought into the equation. I don't think they ever tell us why, but for some reason, Agent South followed Agent Washington to high ground earlier when he had found Church. However, I believe the real reason she followed him is unknown to her, and I'll reveal later on. Now, when the three of the heroes get there, they find that the meta is attacking South because he wants Delta and her armor abilities. She decides she's going to drop Delta so that the Meta can get him so she can survive. Just like she did with her brother, and just like she did with Agent Washington. Now, after the three of them jump in to help her, using Caboose's stupidity as their own weapon... Hello! Hey, see that purple one? She's on our team! You should help her! Okay! <laughs> okay, we're good! The Meta decides to use his Time Distortion unit to slow down time, because Time Distortion doesn't exist, right? But anyway, as he does this, his power in his suit diminishes, and he decides he has to flee. He doesn't have the chance to kill everybody. With all the armor abilities and all the AI, his suit just can't handle all of that output. When he does, this is where Agent Washington finds out that the Meta now has Agent Wyoming's Time Distortion unit which was also on the ship with Tex. Being the reason why it took the ship a year to crash, all right, I'll, I'll, I'll get off of that, but I'm just trying to make a point. Once this happens, 
They corner South, they interrogate her, and they give the Great Destroyer Delta. And Wash and Delta come to the conclusion that it's time to kill her. Because she's just going to kill them anyway. After discussing the situation a little bit, they decide that the place that the Meta probably went was to the windmill. A familiar place where the Great Prophecy's journey started the first time. So he can fully power his suit. Because Omega's been there before, and he has Omega. This is where the next stage of the prophecy takes place. While Agent Washington is the actual Great Retriever, and the meta is now the darkness, Church has taken Tucker's place as the hero. Because he was the AI that the director had been torturing and experimenting on this whole time. And he's basically the good half of the director. And if you think about all the AI that ended up with which freelancers, Agent Maine ended up with Sigma, he became the meta. Agent Washington ended up with Epsilon, and he became the Great Retriever. Caboose got Yellow Church, or Xi, as my theory suggests, and he has become the Great Destroyer. Church, the Alpha, ended up with Agent Florida when he went into hiding. Agent Florida, who changed his name to Captain Flowers, and then when he died, his armor ended up being stolen by Tucker. So essentially, adding a few extra steps, Church ended up with Tucker. Tucker is the one who claimed the sword in the first iteration of the prophecy as the chosen one. And because Church is the only reason why Tucker and any of the Reds and Blues survived in Season 3, because of the time loop, Church is technically the reason why Tucker is the great hero. My theory also suggests that Epsilon didn't just turn Agent Washington into the Great Retriever, but also plays as the great key for the hero. Mainly since Agent Washington's ultimate goal is to get the Alpha AI and then reunite him with his memories, thus using that to take down the director. The director who's been misusing his Project Freelancer program for his own benefit, leading to the creation of the meta. This iteration's darkness. They show up, and they try to take down the meta. In the process, the Reds show up, and end up attacking the Blues and Washington, and pretty much derail the plan, because the meta, once he found out that Agent Washington was chasing him, contacted Sarge and sent him a fake message saying that, you know, Wash and the Blues had reassembled, and because Sarge is a Red, he can't stand for that shit. And so, Sarge, Griff, and Simmons, Griff and Simmons, who are also at Rat's Nest with Caboose on the opposite side, came together, showed up the windmill to fight the Blues. But then Wash and Church tell them what's going on with the meta, they decide to help. And you don't think they're really working with the meta, do you? Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god! Caboose ends up getting knocked out by the meta, and Delta is stolen, thus becoming part of the meta. Now this is where we learn what the engineer gave to Delta as far as information on the prophecy. Now that Caboose is knocked out, they're trying to figure out why he won't wake up. And when Agent Washington's not paying attention, Church jumps into his head, using his ghost powers, which is just his AI abilities, and inside he sees a mental image of Delta, who reveals he's just a recording left behind by Delta. Please tell Agent Washington that memory is the key. Memory is the key. Memory is the key? Is what does that mean? Wash will know. Okay, seriously. Does it have to be a riddle? Can't you just tell me what you want me to do? How hard would that be? The way Agent Washington takes this is that in their first meeting, he told Delta that it's cheaper to recover an AI than it is to delete it. And to him, that means that Epsilon's still alive. Delta's importance in the trial of the windmill is because he knows that memory's the key. Caboose having him lets Caboose know that Epsilon is the key. Epsilon is the key he's supposed to end up with as the Great Destroyer. Agent Washington, as the Great Retriever, knows that Epsilon is the key he has to reunite with the hero. Church being the hero needs to reacquire his memories. And the darkness, the meta, now knows that memory is the key he needs to make himself completely human. To have an AI that is intelligent. Epsilon being the memory of the Alpha, the Alpha being considered an intelligent AI, he could probably serve as an intelligent AI. And as Wash said at one point in time, And if you get your hands on a smart AI, you can be damn near unstoppable. Well, like smart like Delta here? Smart means something entirely different for AIs than it does for people. This is why South thought it was necessary to follow Agent Washington secretly, because she had Delta, and 
Delta was subconsciously letting her know that since memory's the key, Wash is the great retriever and he's supposed to retrieve that key for the hero, she was going to grab that AI subconsciously. Whether or not that was her actual intention, that's what Delta was telling her. Where are we going? Delta was right. Memory is the key. But what does that mean? It means that only one thing remembers everything about these AI and where they come from. It will know how to stop them. We need to unlock the Alpha. And that means we're going home. We're going to command. He's in an AI containment facility. So now Agent Washington's mission is to take Church, Caboose, and the Reds to command, where the AI containment center is. Seems like it was too easy. Wash, you're gonna learn while you work with us? There's no such thing as too easy. You're just being paranoid. Yeah. You're probably right. When they get there, he has the Reds and Caboose stand guard at the entrance of the facility while he takes Church down into the labyrinth of information cells, which kind of, in some places, look like a Jedi library. And one of these things is Alpha? And there he reveals to Church that he's the Alpha. He reveals to Church that Epsilon is his memories, and this is him trying to reunite the hero with the key. Because I believe the engineer basically gave Delta the information that Epsilon is the great key. Because Tucker's great sword was a key. So Tucker is to the sword as Church is to Epsilon. Speaking of Tucker... Hello! Come in command! Do you read command? Why isn't anyone answering? At the time that this is happening, the Reds and Caboose hear Tucker on the radio asking for help in the desert. Because Tucker's already finished the trial of the windmill and claimed the alien sword, he doesn't have to redo it. He's in the desert. Which I'll explain later. Tell them we found what we're looking for and it's under the sand. Now Wash gives Epsilon to the Reds and to Caboose so they can get him out of range of an EMP that Wash is going to set off so they can use Epsilon to take down the Director as evidence. Initially, after all of this, Church tries to deny his destiny and go with the Reds and Blues. What? Wash, I don't give a shit about any of this. I hate you, I hate the Freelancers, I hate everything about you guys. This isn't my fight. It's yours. It's your fight more than anyone else's. I don't care what you say. No, it isn't. Church, you'll never get another shot at fixing all of this. I know you don't believe what I've told you, but you need to ask yourself, what if I'm right? If I am, or if you have any doubts, not finding out will haunt you for the rest of your life. Not just finding out about you, but finding out about everyone close to you as well. It's your choice. What's it going to be? Meanwhile, Agent Washington is trying to lure the Meta down into the AI Containment Center. Lead the Meta as far away from the base as possible. I just hope there's enough time. He's falling for it! Gun it, Griff! Hold on, everyone! With the chance that he'll try to steal all those AI, and then he's going to hit the MP and kill all the AI in the Meta and in the facility. The only evidence being left is Epsilon. And while down there, he ends up encountering the director and the counselor. Agent Washington, good to see you again. There's someone else here who would like to speak with you. Well, hello, Agent Washington. The director himself. He reveals to them that Epsilon is the memories, he has the codes, and he knows everything that they've done since the moment that the AI was put in Wash's head. The meta shows up, and the director decides to order him to kill Agent Washington. And right before he does this, the meta's asking to see the Alpha. You know, Meta, why wait? Why don't you meet him right now? Hi there. Alpha. Revealing that Church did not go with Caboose and the Reds like they tried to make it look like, now Church, pretty much embracing the fact that he's the Alpha, decides to help Wash and pretending that he's in denial of being an AI, accepting his fate. When the EMP goes off, when it goes off, I'll be fine. It only affects computers, remember? And I am a motherfucking ghost. Jumps into the Meta's head, temporarily paralyzing him, sacrificing himself to save the day. And Agent Washington hits the EMP, kills all the AI, including Alpha, inside the Meta, destroying all the information inside the facility. The Red's Jeep gets stalled by the EMP, but luckily, Caboose gets away with the Epsilon AI. You got me. No! And the next thing we see is the Reds and Caboose have been given the Valhalla bases that had been attacked by the Meta at the beginning of Season 6. This is their new base, 
Funny enough, Valhalla is said to be the resting place of fallen heroes. And this is where we see Caboose does not actually give Epsilon to the authorities. Caboose, the last known great destroyer, now has the Epsilon AI. Just like Gamma said, the great destroyer claimed the great key. And next is Season 7. Season 7 being the next step of the Great Prophecy, the Great Burning Plains. Send help now! 